Hello my dear friends. Today is International Thalassemia Day and while we are in trying times I want to talk to you about the advances in the treatment of thalassemia. The first company I'm going to talk to you about is called Selgen and its product is called Luspatacid which maybe you all are aware of. It has now got an FDA approval on the 25th of November 2019 to be used uh, and the actual product is now given a name Reblosil. This will be hopefully resulting in patients having to extend the period between transfusions. At the moment the results that they have published in ASH in uh, last year indicate a 33% or higher that, uh, in reduction of the need of blood transfusions. The second uh, company which I want to talk to you about is called Bluebird Bio and they're working on gene therapy. Uh, their product is called Zindaglo and they are right now in discussions with the FDA and EMA regarding licensing and uh, the ability of the product to get to uh, the patients. The first commercial patient uh, uh, which was organized in Germany uh, unfortunately is now being delayed due to the coronavirus. The third uh, product that I would like to talk to you about is with regarding gene editing. The two companies working on this is CRISP Therapeutics and Vertex Pharmaceuticals and this will be a, a, a new product which will be similar to gene therapy but this will be gene editing. Uh, it's rather a complicated procedure. They're very uh, right at the beginning of their research uh, and uh, they are uh, in a way nearly uh, ready for some clinical trials. Uh, at the end of the day what I'm trying to indicate to you is the wonderful future that thalassemia treatment uh, is uh, going to have. Uh, the biggest problem that we all need to work together is to lobby the governments because the companies that have developed these new uh, treatments are pricing them out of reach of nearly 95% of the thalassemia patients. Uh, please keep well, keep safe and we hope that we will meet again very soon.